first question is for JJ. Uh, can you tell me about the process of integrating Carrie Fisher into the film? Uh, yes, I, I, like everyone here uh, who knew her, loved Carrie. And I, I knew her for a, a long time, uh, not very well, but I, I, I knew her for a while before Force Awakens. And, um, you know, obviously, as we've discussed, the idea of continuing the story without Leia was an impossibility. And there was no way we were going to do a digital Leia. There was no way we were, of course, ever recast it. But we couldn't do it without her. And when we went back to look at the scenes that we hadn't used in Force Awakens, what we realized is we had an opportunity. And we could use that footage, use the lines that she was saying, use the, literally the lighting. The, that was amazing. <laughs> OK, watch this. The lighting. <laughs> um, that was creepy. Hi, Carrie. Yeah. Hi, Carrie. That's so Carrie, by the way, to do that. Yep. Um, really weird. Um, in any event, uh, we knew that we had an opportunity to use the footage to, uh, to create scenes that Leia would be in. And uh, of course, had Carrie been around, and it's still impossible for me to believe that you know, she isn't, because we've been editing with her uh, for about a year. And she's been very much alive with us in every scene. And uh, it, it ended up being, so, you know, if we had Carrie around, would we have done some different things here and there? Of course we would have. But we had an opportunity to have Carrie in the movie. And uh, working with all the actors, uh, in, including uh, Billy Lord, her, her daughter, who's in scenes uh, with her, we were able to, I think, do something that Carrie herself, uh, I'd like to think, would be, would be happy with. She is, uh, she's great in the movie, of course. Um, and it's, it's still emotional and moving to, to think of, uh, of her and, and how sad we all are that she's not sitting here uh, with us today.